Hello, everyone. My name is Michael Bunning, and I am Manager of Business Development for SoftThings IT Networks Division. And today we're going to talk about how to perform a two jumper set reference using single mode cable with SC connectors. And to do that, we're going to use the Wire Expert 4500 certifier. Before we get into the actual configuration, setup, and procedures, I thought I might talk a little bit about the current set reference methods and uh, maybe some best practices, things to look for. Uh, currently, there is the one jumper, two jumper, and three jumper set reference method. As I mentioned, we're going to talk about the two jumper set reference today, which I think you'll find the quickest and the easiest. It involves cleaning the uh, least amount of end faces. And anybody who's worked with fiber optic cable knows that uh, the time consuming part is making sure all the, uh, the end faces are clean before you uh, start the testing procedure. Um, three jumper is used uh, occasionally when you want to maybe change connector types. Uh, but you know, I think you'll see when you look at the configuration screen that uh, you, don't, you don't want to be cleaning 12 end faces. So the one jumper method is used for certification. Uh, but today we're going to focus on the uh, the two jumper set reference method. Uh, and a note about test reference cords. They're not your father's Osmobile. Uh, what do I mean by that? Test reference cords are reference grade. You simply cannot go back down to your local distributor and, and buy patch cables off the shelf and expect to get accurate results when you're uh, setting your reference and testing. Um, reference grade cords have extreme low loss connectors. Um, and it's particularly important with single mode because the tolerances are, are much tighter with a, a reference grade uh, connector. Um, and if you use non-reference grade, you know, you can get some misalignment. It causes your DB readings to be high or your power values on your set reference to be out of range. So always, always make sure you're using uh, reference grade test reference cords. And I know we're not talking about multi-mode today, but in the multi-mode world, those test reference cords are what are called modally transparent. So let's go ahead and get started and show you how the procedure works. So what are we going to need today to perform a two jumper set reference? Well, first of all, we're going to need reference grade test reference cords. We're going to need four of the SC to SC. And these have the 2.5 millimeter ferrules. Um, we're also going to need a cleaning product. Um, this is Softing's Clean Machine. This is our version of the uh, one click. There are any number of these available out in the marketplace. Depending on how dirty your end faces are, uh, you might possibly need to get into some sort of wet cleaning as well. Uh, we're going to need a duplex coupler, SC. So we have one, two, three, four. Uh, SC connections here. And you can see I've got the little L and R on there. I'm old. I forget stuff. So L and R stands for either left or right, or it also works on local uh, to remote. Uh, the blue color indicates that it's a uh, single mode. I kind of use all blue couplers because they have a little better, better, to better tolerances. And this device here, I will argue, Softings Digital Inspection Scope is probably as important as these testers. Um, you know, I teach fiber optic training on the wire expert every Thursday, and I have a little expression. If you're not inspecting your test reference cords, you're playing what I call test reference cord roulette. Sometimes you'll win, sometimes you'll lose, and if you lose, it can be very painful. Uh, you, can, you can spend a lot of time. Uh, and then the worst case scenario is um, basically when you put that connector down inside the transmit port, this is glass on glass, so you stand the chance of embedding that dirt into your uh, adapter end face. And these things are uh, not inexpensive, and I've seen it where the dirt's been embedded so badly that uh, uh, we couldn't even clean it in the lab. The RX port has a little bit of an air gap in it, uh, not as critical, but again, always important that you start with clean, uh, clean end faces. All right, so let's talk about the configuration for a two jumper set reference. And by the way, just a little housekeeping, this little cable right here, it's connected over to my desktop that allows me to uh, display my local up here, make it a little easier to see, a little glare on this. And one of the nice things is I can actually, uh, one of the things I can do is I can, I can actually drive this screen from the mouse on my keyboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on configuration. And quick note, these are what are called loopback configurations. So if you're concerned that one of these test reference cords might be bad, you can actually use that loopback to test the individual cords, which is nice. 
but we're going to talk about that two jumper set reference today. Here's one jumper, two jumper, three jumper. Is that I mentioned you clean a lot of end faces with a three jumper set reference. So you'd clean one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It's also important to look down inside the end face uh, and to be able to, uh, to make sure that's clean as well. Uh, and I also, I get asked in training a lot of times, well, Mike, what, you know, there's, there's ice count one, two, three, four. Why is this three jumper? So kind of think of it as hop counts between the testers. We've got one hop count here, two here, and one, two, three here. The quick note on single directional and bidirectional, uh, either is acceptable for a fiber certified test. Single directional, basically there's a light source and a power meter in each of these. So you're going to send that reference amount of light over to the other uh, remote unit. It's going to take a reading and then you're kind of done. Uh, with bidirectional, uh, you're going to send that same reference light over to your remote. Uh, and again, there's a light source and a power meter in here. You'll get a message that says flip, transmit, and receive at the coupler panel on both sides. And then you'll send a measure amount of light back and it'll take another reading. So you actually get two readings with a, uh, with a bidirectional. Again, either is acceptable for, the, uh, uh, for certification for the standard. All right, so we're gonna click on that two, the two jumper here, and I'm gonna click. Anytime you make a change in our tester, you have to just hit the uh, the check mark to make it stick. Uh, you know, obviously we're not testing fiber today, but you know, you will want to set your limits in what type of cable you're using when you're doing actual testing. So let's go ahead and uh, and get this set up. All right. So as I mentioned, you always want to make sure you're starting with clean end faces. So I'm gonna to go to my tool section here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit my inspect fiber. And I've got my digital scope connected up. And I have the ability to look at end faces now right on the screen. And this will work on either, either units because we have screens on both ones. I'm going to go off camera a little bit here because I'm old and I need to be able to see. Uh, and then there is our uh, end face. And the smaller gray area, uh, let me focus in a little bit. The smaller gray area there is um, obviously the core. This is single mode, so it's a a tiny core, a nine, nine micron core. And this guy's pretty clean and he's, uh, he's ready to go. A tip I teach my guys in class, once this is clean, don't pass go, don't collect $200, don't set it down. Whatever you do, don't put the dust cap back on it because dust caps are dust magnets in my opinion. Go ahead and put it, put it right into the tester. And we're going to look at the other end here. Take a look at it. And as you can, here's what I'm doing here. I'm just rocking this up onto the end face. Uh, and as we can see, that guy's a little dirty. So we're going to take our one click and we're going to hit this guy with a one click. And we'll see if we got that dirt off of there. Go back up. So now he's got a little spot on him, but he's pretty good. I might try and get that little spot off. There we go. And one of the things our scope can also do is we can take pictures and you can make it part of the documentation. Um, and we can also compare against the standard. The camera will take a picture, and there's actually a standard for clean end faces. Um, it's a four-zone concentric circle test, and uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, it's a nice way, if you're not quite as skilled at looking at end faces, to be able to tell if uh, your end face is clean. So let's go back out to uh, tools, and we're about ready to set a reference. So when I hit set reference now, it's going to bring that picture up of the two jumper configuration. So we want to make sure that we've selected a two jumper and the way we've set our, our test reference cords matches. So we've got transmit and receive here. We've got transmit and receive here. And then we've got our coupler in the middle. And the important, uh, the important part uh, when setting up for the test is to make sure that the two cables from the local are coming into the local side and the two cables from the remote are coming into the remote side. That's kind of why I put my L and R on there. So we're set up now. We're ready to hit set reference. So we're going to head and hit the go button. And with single mode, uh, you're looking for values between negative three and negative nine. Um, that's different from the multi-mode values. Uh, and these are negative numbers because this is absolute power that we're, uh, we're sending back and forth right now. So as you can see, we're between that negative three and negative nine. So we're good to go. And I always recommend that my contractors uh, just go ahead and take a, an actual reading of what's going on. You know, because we've referenced out most of the, the 
jumpers in the uh, between the testers, you're not going to you wouldn't expect to see much loss. And there's the message you get when you do a, a bi-directional test. You know, let's go ahead and check through that today because we're not doing actual testing. Uh, but it's going to go uh, go out and set that. Uh, actually, we're doing a, a test right now. And as I mentioned, you would expect not to see a whole lot of loss. So 1300, you know, basically we've got zero loss both directions, which is nice. And I think we might have a hundredth on the, on the 1550, which is fine. Um, so the whole idea with the set reference procedure is you don't want your testers and your test reference cords to be, to add any loss to the cable under test. Well, I hope you found this helpful and I got a little more information for you. So let me get this out of the way. We have additional information always available at our website. And I'll leave this up for a little while if you want to jot anything down. If you want to find out what really goes on when you're setting that reference, I got a uh, kind of a deep dive white paper that's posted out on LinkedIn, probably on YouTube as well. You know, you just type that in and it'll, it'll pull it up. We have other additional uh, how-to videos on our, on our YouTube channel. If you ever want to inquire about bragging products from us, you can go to sales at softing.us. Just as a quick note, we do make test reference cord kits uh, for two jumper set references. You know, you got technical questions, you can send them to support at softing.us. And feel free to contact me if you have any, uh, any additional questions.